Hi, this is Corey with Cloud Adoption Solutions, and I'm here today to talk some more about the new flow features for Spring 21. Um, so, along with prior value, there's also scheduled paths in flow. And this is getting us even closer to all the features that Process Builder has so we can continue to move away from Process Builder and uh, into the world of flow. So this is a pretty simple flow that I built on an account record. Um, and it's just basically if the record is created or updated um, and after the record is saved. And the only condition I have on here is type equals prospect and only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements. So to use the scheduled pass, um, you have to use only when a record is updated. And then for my scheduled paths, I just gave it a label and my time source here, there's, there's a bunch of different options for time source, but uh, what I used is um, when the account is created or updated. And then for this example, I use zero days after um, just so we can actually see this work. But in a real world example, we might have this a day, five days, whatever, however many days or um, time period uh, after that's created or updated. So all I'm doing here is um, getting a notification ID. I created a custom notification um, and I'm just looking it up by the de developer name so that I can get the ID and then making sure that that notification exists. And then I am assigning a notification recipient, which is the record uh, owner ID in this case. So the owner, the account owner is the person that's going to get this um, notification. And then for the Apex action, it's just the uh, send notification action. And here I filled in, get the notification ID. And all I'm putting in there is please check the account website. Um, and then there's the recipient variable. And the target ID is the record ID. That way when they click on the notification, it'll take them to the record. So pretty simple example, but um, just kind of showing how this scheduled paths works in uh, Spring 21. So I have this activated already. I'm gonna go into this test account. I'm gonna change the type. Um, and then I'm going to change the type to prospect and save the record. And since this is actually zero days after, since it's a scheduled um, event, it does take it a few seconds to um, kick off that notification. All right, so there we go. So there you see it took a few seconds um, for that notification to pop up. Um, there's the title on the body or the subject in the body and then clicking on it takes me I'm already in this account, but it would take me into this account um, uh, record. So just another cool feature of Flow for Spring 21, um, really useful. I um, actually have um, a real world example of this built out for a client. And I'm just waiting for their production org to get um, upgraded to Spring 21 so I can um, deploy it. So if you have any other questions on this or any other flow questions, please feel free to contact us. Our contact info is at the end of this video. Thanks and have a nice day.